Hello, I'm Master Cho. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade Wi-Fi card of your laptop. A little disclaimer before we begin. I'm not sponsored by Lenovo, noise Korean retailer. I bought this laptop and the Wi-Fi card for my personal use. No one asked me to make this video. This is just my method how to replace the Wi-Fi card. Feel free to leave a comment below. So let's get started. This is the Lenovo IdeaPad F340 14 API, which I recently reviewed. But generally all laptops are about the same, except Apple laptops and some other Chromebooks. Before we begin, you must completely turn off the laptop first. Let's open the back cover. I use T5 screwdriver. Here is the power cable coming from the battery connected to the motherboard. This cable must be disconnected to prevent, prevent any unwanted damage during upgrade process. I'll use this plastic tool. Okay. If your laptop has Wi-Fi connected to the expansion slot like this, you can upgrade or replace the Wi-Fi card. But here's a catch. These expansion slots are not all the same. There are two most frequently used types of slots for Wi-Fi card, Mini PCI and NGFF. Mini PCI is slightly older standard and slightly bigger than the NGFF. NGFF is the standard slot type you will see in most laptops nowadays. NGS, NGFF stands for, NGFF stands for Next Generation Form Factor. And now it's more frequently referred as M.2 slot. M.2 slots are used mainly for Wi-Fi card and SSDs. So my S340 has two NGFF or M.2 slots here and here. One for SSD supports M M SATA and MVME dual mode. Another one here for Wi-Fi card. For NGFF, there are two points you need to check before you buy any replacement for your laptop. First, you need to see is, is the edge connector. It has some division. This division is called keys. If the division is different, different, you may not able to insert the card to the socket. So before you buy an replacement, you need to remove your old card, check its keys, and buy a compatible one. Secondly, if your laptop is IBM, Lenovo, or HP, you must check if the card is whitelisted. Whitelist is a list of hardware approved by its manufacturer, like Lenovo. Technically, any card with standard interface should be compatible. But some manufacturers prohibit Wi-Fi card unless they test it. You need to cross-check FRU product number marked on the Wi-Fi card with the whitelist. So it's always good to double-check with the customer support or user form of your laptop. There are some more technical details like number of antenna connectors and newer CMVIO standard. So make sure if you are buying the replacement card compatible with your laptop before they try anything. Well, this Intel AC9260 is not officially supported or approved by Lenovo, but someone from the user forum said it actually works. So I'll give it a try. So no more talking. Let's replace it. Replacing Wi-Fi card is very simple. First, we need to remove two antenna connectors. 
in order to remove antenna connectors, I have to remove this protective sticker. Gently peel off. Okay. And I will remove these two antenna cables. These antenna connectors are very fragile, so don't use too much force. Okay, and then we have to remove this screw. Okay. Once you remove the screw, the card will generally pop off. So gently slide out with a little wiggle. And slide in the replacement card in the same manner. And all you need to do is reconnect the two antennas. Okay, I think it's done. Reattach this protective sticker. And we connect this power cable. Okay, I fix the back cover. Let's see if it works. Okay, I boot it up and it looks like Wi-Fi card is recognized. I use Windows 10 so it's automatically installed a driver. Let's connect it to the Wi-Fi. Okay. Check the speed. Speed is good. It's connected to 5 gigahertz. Let's test the connection speed. So this is the this is the connection speed. Download is 560, upload is 90. I made the same test with the old Wi-Fi card before this change. It was like this, 230. So it's almost doubled. Upload is tripled. Actually, this speed is almost same with the wired connection. This is the test result of wired connection through USB-C gigabit external Ethernet card. So I think the speed is great. Windows 10 has this standard driver 
but Bluetooth is not recognized. So I have to you I have to install new drivers, Wi-Fi first. Connection is good. Let's install Bluetooth driver. Bluetooth driver was not installed automatically. So nice all driver update is done. Let's try Bluetooth now. I connect this keyboard. I connected Logitech K380 Bluetooth keyboard. Let's try if it works. Okay. Great. It's working. Let's turn off for now. Now check the connection speed. is 5G connection speed is very good so so that's all for this episode I leave my Wi-Fi card specification in the description below for your reference if you are planning to buy a Wi-Fi card for your Lenovo A340 you must check FIU product number marked on the Wi-Fi card before you buy. I used AC9260 card with FIU product number 01RPA X-Ray 769. If you buy the same model, it's likely to work with S340. But if it's different, I cannot guarantee. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and thumbs up. If you liked, see you next time.